Hello fellow tankers, Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we are back for one day of tanking, that's it boys and girls, only one day of tanking in between my vacation, in between my holiday. So I was back at home for a couple days and you know played one day, pretty much one day of tanking and the footage you're gonna see over the next uh, couple days will be from that one day of tanking. So first impressions uh, from coming back I don't know it felt quite normal to me the day I played was Friday I think Friday evening and yeah I don't know I think there were some you know steamrolls ruffle stomps that kind of stuff but overall I think it was pretty decent the game of tanking it was fairly balanced I would say I did have to pull my my weight in a few games but that's, there's nothing unusual about that that usually happens um, when I play. So, I don't know. It's been quite normal, to be honest. I mean, it wasn't wasn't that bad. Obviously, I got focused by Artie again, and that's normal. But uh, overall, quite a standard day of tanking. Anyway, this map, and specifically this mode on this map. If you're an opposing team and you're attacking on this map... The best way to do it is through the middle because you see area what is it the F line there's like a riverbed right so you can actually use that riverbed to approach this side of the map and put up hell of a fight especially if you have all three flanks going it is hard to defend this area so that's why I came here because I was anticipating enemy to come uh, through the middle because that's that's usually what happens and when I fight out of here, I have flexibility. I can move up to my right-hand side the way I'm doing right now and fight on the south. And if the enemy is approaching through the riverbed, I can turn around and face the other way. And at the same time, I can call my friendies to help out, right? So I like the central location. And in many cases, central locations on maps are key, guys. So you have to be aware of where you are, what your surroundings are, where your friendlies are, and where the enemy is encroaching and it's all about situational awareness and you're gonna learn that by looking at the minimap yes exactly and that's why I have minimap there and every two or three seconds I do scan the map at the same time when I'm paying attention to these guys that are approaching here now I see this pot I think it's Patton or one of our medium tanks moved up too far or was it the heavy tank could have been the E5 and yeah, he, he was overexposing a little bit. The IS-7 was overexposing and I was telling them to drop. I mean, that wasn't a good position for them. Overexposing over the hill. So I'm ready to run off right here because I can see this mouse coming in. And I don't want to fight him. I really don't want to fight him. I want to check the riverbed area. There's no one there. But these guys are not paying attention to me. Uh, looks like they're tunnel visioned on my friends that are at, uh, you know, J5, somewhere around there. So I'm going to take this opportunity to put some shells into them. So normally, in many cases in the past, I would just turn around and run away. But with experience, when you guys play the game a little bit longer, you realize that why run away if someone's not paying attention to you, right? So that's exactly what I did here. So we're going to try to get rid of this Type 5. And yeah, we managed to take him out of the game. Can we put some more shells into this mouse? Lining a shot up at him here but he's hiding behind the wreck yet I still have a shot so we're gonna put a shell into him as you can see I'm not rushing him the reason I'm not rushing him is because my first of all my friendlies are rushing him I don't have to be doing that I couldn't be poking out taking shots from a little bit further out second I don't know uh, if enemy has any more uh, there you go that light tank right here last thing I want to do is get yellow by a light tank right anyway so I can I can drop on this guy right now because he doesn't know I was here Right, yet I'm worried about this TD on my left hand side, that big alpha can hurt, but my friend is took care of the light tank, so no worries there. So now we're going to turn around towards the other flank. Now I'm going to poke out through the middle here, I think, just to see if there's anyone. But I'm targeted at the same time, so I didn't want to overexpose right there. I wanted to poke out and see if there's anyone else. There it is, there's a TD at F8, and I think it's a Death Star. It's still sitting there. So we're going to check the riverbed again. No one came this way, which was a mistake by the, the opposition, I think, by not coming through this area in order to engage us. 
So we're gonna flex to the other flank because it's losing at this point in time. Let me see if I can put some shells into these guys over here. I get spotted. I didn't realize, I thought it was the uh, Chieftain Scapola that spotted me, but I thought maybe there was someone on the other side spotting me. That's why I'm looking all the way around because I wasn't sure at this point in time. Anyway, we're gonna wait up for this Chieftain. He's paying attention to our friendly, so we're gonna put a shell into his turret. And we're gonna, we're gonna just wait here. We're not gonna do anything drastic. We're gonna wait for him to overexpose right there. We put a shell into him. And now that our friendly is dead, I was thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe I should be taking a different position because they will be paying attention to me at the moment. So I was thinking about scooting through the riverbed down here and flank the opposition. But then this Death Star is still there, but he's not paying attention to me. So we're gonna try to line up a shot at him. Yes, we put one shell in and we track him at the same time he gets taken out so now we can push this TD that's on our right and he's not gonna be expecting us unless he's paying attention to the map if he was paying attention to the map he would have seen me coming up but in 90% of cases World of Tanks players will not pay attention to the map so I get an easy drop on him right there we put a shell into him we take him out of the game at the same time someone's paying attention to me so we're gonna have to hide over here. I was thinking about going up there, but then I'm like still spotted. So I decided to go behind that rock right here and wait it out for a split second. Yeah, we're gonna wait it out here. Let our sixth sense disappear. And now we're gonna move up. So we're gonna move up through here. We're gonna try to flank the opposition. I mean, the game is still relatively close. Normally... You would say, well, maybe I should be engaging the opposition directly. I have enough health. I could be just dropping on them right now. But there's still some big guns in play. And a couple of tanks still have, on the opposition team, still have quite a bit of HP. So I decided not to do that. I decided to play it patiently. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to come up here. And we're going to see if there's anybody around here. There was a TD over here, but he is behind that rock, I think, on my right-hand side. At this point in time, I'm trying to sneak in through the middle to see if I can go undetected and sneak behind that TD. But he gets taken out, so... My friendlies are doing a good job at this point in time. It's uh, final kills, um, final damage, end game damage. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move in for the end game damage. But I think I'm going to commit a little bit of a mistake here. Yeah, I'm going to lose my gun depression here. That was a big mistake because I had a drop on this chieftain, right? But anyway, it doesn't matter. I can trade my HP right now. So we're going to put a shell onto him. He didn't even hit us. He was hitting one of our friendlies. But we're going to try to do the same thing. I'm trying to drag him out here. In case he wants to overexpose and hit me. Go ahead, please. Be my guest. And uh, run into my friendly's fire. But we managed to take him out right there. He puts a shell onto us. But it doesn't matter. The game is over. It's just the um, finishing touches. Right now, we're putting icing on the cake. And can we take this guy out for the final kill of the game? Let's see. Can we do this? Lower play shot. Yes, we can. And we secure the win for the team. Relatively close-ish game. But we had some good players on our team. Which helped out in this situation. Yet we managed to put up very nice result in a chisel. I haven't played this tank in a while. And I jumped back in it. And I had some good games in it. So we managed to put up class 1 mastery, 6.2k damage, not enough for an ace tanker. Unfortunately, we finished on top of the team with 1481 base XP 4 kills. We fired 18 shells, we had 17 direct hits and 17 penetrations. Not too shabby at all. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a chance, go check out CloakGuy72, link to his channel in the description section below. That's it for now, until next time, happy tanking! Space Bandit.